I had the honor of working with Melinda Watt, who's the chair and curator of textiles at the Art Institute of Chicago, on the exhibition and the accompanying catalog, which is published by Rizzoli. We each wrote essays that contextualize Gio's work within contemporary black portraiture and within textile traditions. Here we have the catalog for Gio Swaby Fresh Up, published by Rizzoli Electa. It's definitely something you want to hold. The, the cover is fabric wrapped so that it's it's really reminiscent of the textiles that Gio uses in her work. The image is a self-portrait from the My Hands Are Clean series. And then these gorgeous end papers reference the backgrounds of Gio's love letters. Here we have a detail image of Pretty Pretty Eight. This is a work that's in the MFA collection. This is an exhibition that's co-organized with the Art Institute of Chicago. The book designer, Barbara Glauber, has created tabs that are using details from each series, and Gio has contributed personal introductions to each of them. A major highlight of the catalog is a conversation between the artist and Pulitzer Prize-winning journalist, Nicole Hannah-Jones. It delves into ideas of accessibility in the art world, as well as Gio's career trajectory. This is a series of self-portraits. They're inspired by the act of strangers wanting to touch the artist's hair, which can be a common microaggression towards Black women. Going Out Clothes references the personal style that is so important to the portraits in Gio's work, allowing for personal expression of the subjects. These are portraits made in honor of the women who have been most important in Gio's life, and they epitomize her practice of essentially creating love letters to Black women. Here we see a series that shows Swaby's deft hand with stitching. She essentially draws with thread. The thread-based portraits are further developed with this series, and as with another side to me, the reverse side of the stitching is shown. These are silhouetted portraits and really focus on the hairstyles of the subjects. This series includes two triptychs as well as individual portraits. This is Swaby's first triptych to show three life-size figures together. And after the exhibition's tour, it's gonna to be housed at the US Embassy in the Bahamas.